Hello kids, and today we're gonna learn about the numbers, about the clock, and we also gonna solve this puzzle. So let's start. Oh no, where did they go? We don't have numbers and we don't have puzzles, but we have crayons. And in these crayons, we have those numbers and puzzles. So let's open them. And the first crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the orange one. So let's do, let's shake it and open. Wow, how many things we have. So we have also the shapes, the puzzles and the numbers. Oh, that's interesting. So let's start with the puzzles. And we have here three puzzles. One, two, and three. So let's turn around them like this. Okay, and here we have the face of the tiger and you can see that the tiger is smiling. So this is the corner piece. So we can place it here, we can fit it here, we can put it here, or we can place it here. So I think this one could go right now here and then later we can move it somewhere else. So the next puzzle that we have is with the ladybug and it's also the corner piece. So we need to place somewhere on the puzzle board. I think right now let's put it right here in the left corner. Great. And the next one we have the puzzle piece that I think it has the maybe the sun or maybe the flower. I don't know. But let's at the moment place it here like this. We need more puzzles so we can start combining them. Great. Let's continue with the numbers. So here we have the number 11. And number 11 goes right after the number 10. But how did, did we know that? We need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. Great. And the next one number, we have number four. And we, it goes right after number three here. But let's count. One, two, three, and four. Great. Well done. And here we also have the shapes. And this is the yellow color shape. And it has two holes, one and two. So let's place it right now here, like this. And the next one shape that we have is the orange shape and it only has one hole. Let's place it here, great. And this shape is red color shape and it has five holes. One, two, three, four, five. Great, amazing. Let's open the next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna open will be the blue one. Let's shake it. Open it. Wow, how many things we have here. Great. And let's start with the puzzles. So here we have three puzzles. One, two and three. And you can see that we're gonna turn around this puzzle like this. Great, and it is side puzzle, so we can place somewhere on the side. We cannot place this in a corner because it's not the corner piece, but it's a side piece, All right? So at the moment, here we have orange leaf. So maybe let's place it here right now and see where we can combine it later. Let's do next one puzzles. And the next one puzzle is also the side puzzle and it has the flower here. So we can place it somewhere on a puzzle board. And let's think where we can place it. Maybe we can combine with something, but I don't think right now we need still more puzzles to connect them. Okay, let's place right now this puzzle maybe here and see. So the next one puzzle, we can see that there is the part of the tiger and here is the tiger. So. I think this could go maybe here at the moment. Let's place it like that. We still need to find those puzzles that we can connect together like this. But at the moment, we're still searching for them. Okay, let's continue with the numbers. So the next number that we have 
is number 12 and number 12 goes right after the number 11 here but let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve great and next one number we have number five and it goes right after number four so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we count all together and the number five goes right after number four here great and next one we have shapes and here we have the red shape and it has five holes let's count one two three four and five and let's see where we can place the shape you see we have orange shape yellow shape and red shape and this red shape is the same as this one so we can place like that great well done and the next shape is a green shape and it has three holes one two and three and let's look at the, those shapes and this one. Does it match? No, so we're gonna place it here. Great. And the next one we have yellow shape. And yellow shape has two holes. So let's try to match. Yes, it matched with this one. So let's put it on top. Great. And let's do the next crayon. So the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the red one let's shake it and open wow so many things we have here and we have puzzles so let's count how many puzzles we have one two and three so there is three puzzles so let's start with this puzzle let's turn around and here you can see we have corner piece puzzle so we can place somewhere in a corner, right? Maybe here or maybe here. Okay, so let's think where we can place it. Let's try to place it here in this corner, right? And next one, we have this puzzle. And this puzzle is the flower puzzle. And let's think where we can place. Maybe here, but I already see that we can connect this puzzle with this because there is the part of the flower and here is the part of the flower. So let's try to do it like this. Great, we've combined our first two puzzles. You're doing amazing. So the next puzzle, let's see, we have the part of the tiger. So we can maybe try to place it at the moment here, right? But also, maybe let's try to turn around. And here you see we have another puzzle that we can connect with, like this. Great. And maybe let's turn around this whole puzzle piece and place like this, because here is the ear of the tiger and here is the face. So the ear goes above the tiger face. Great. Let's continue. So the next shape that we have is a green shape and it has three holes one two and three great and let's try to match with our shapes is it match with this one no it's an orange shape does it match with this one no it's a yellow shape does it match with red shape no it's a red shape and this one is green and you can see that this is green shape and this is green shape so let's match them together great and let's take the next one. So the next one that we have is the yellow shape with two holes, one and two. So let's try to match with other shapes. Orange, yellow, no. Yellow shape and yellow shape. Great, well done. And the next shape that we have is the blue shape. And let's count how many holes it has. One, two, three and four. Great, let's try to match here. Is it matching with orange? No. Is it matching with yellow? No, because it's a blue. Is it matching with red? No, because it's a blue. Is it matching? No. So this is our new shape that we're gonna place on top here, like this. Great. 
So we have found new shape and we also combined puzzle pieces and we need to look at this number. So this is number six and it's a yellow color shape. So number six goes right after number five, but let's count one, two, three, four, five and six. Great. We completing this clock and this puzzle and the shapes really fast. You're doing really good. So let's continue with our crayons. So next crayon that we're gonna be, gonna be the green crayon. Let's shake and open. Wow, so many things we have here. But let's start with the puzzle pieces. So here we have three puzzle pieces. One, two, three. Okay, so let's start with this puzzle piece. And let's turn around. And here you can see we have the parrot and this is the green parrot and you can see that the green parrot is smiling and let's think where we can place this on the board and I can see already that here is the orange leaf and here is the orange leaf so maybe if we're gonna turn around them like this and try to combine yes it worked amazing so maybe let right now place them here so the puzzle is all about solving those small things, right? And here you can see that the green here is the body of the parrot. So this, is, this wasn't the sun, it was the body of the parrot. So let's try to combine. Great, well done. And let's take the next puzzle. And the next puzzle that we have is the blue puzzle. So there is the blue, maybe it's a ocean right maybe it's sea we don't know but let's try to place it on a board and you can see that here is also the blue color uh, thing so we can combine them together like this great well done amazing so the next puzzle we have the eyes of the tiger and we already know that the tiger is somewhere here right in a corner so we can combine this puzzle piece and this one great you're doing really well so let's continue with our shapes so the next shape that we have is a yellow shape and it has two holes one two so let's try to go through our shape shape match does it match with yellow no does it match with orange no does it match? It's yellow and it has two holes. And these are yellow shapes with two holes. Yes, so we're gonna place it here. Great. And let's take the next one. And the next one we have is a green shape. And it has three holes. Let's count. One, two, and three. Great. Let's go to our shapes and go down. It, does it match with blue shape? No. Does it match with orange shape? No. Does it match with yellow shape? No, it's a green shape. Does it match with red shape? No. Does it match with green shape? Yes. Great. Well done. And let's pick our last shape. And our last shape has four holes. One, two, three, and four. Great. And let's place it here. It's a blue shape and this is the blue shape. So it matches right here. Let's place it on top. Great. And we have left with our number. It's number seven. And you can see it's a shape of the star and it's a pink color. Great. Let's count. So the number seven goes right after number six. So here is the seven. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six seven great and we only left with three crayons so we have the yellow crayon and we have the pink crayon so let's open the yellow crayon and we also have the brown crayon so let's open the yellow crayon wow so many things we have here so let's we have oh we have five puzzles wow let's count one two three four 
and 5. Great, it's gonna help us to complete this puzzle game. So let's start with the first puzzle and let's turn around. Okay, here we have the body of the tiger. And you can see our tiger is here. And here is the small part of his face. So we can connect them together like this. Great. And let's take the next one. Okay, and here who we have? Here we have the butterfly. And we need to place somewhere on the side this puzzle. Maybe we can connect with other things, let's think. And I think here we have the background that matches with this one. So we can combine them together, right? Like this, great, well done. So we need to think where we can combine this ones. And it seems that this one could go here because here we have the piece of the parrot and it's a green, right? So we need to turn around them like this. And we have here two flowers, right? And we can connect them like this. So we can connect the parrot and we can connect with the ladybug. Great, well done. And who we have here? Here we also have some kind of animal, but we need to find out. So let's continue with next puzzle. And the next puzzle that we're gonna take gonna be this one and let's turn around and here we have the tail of the tiger and where else we have tail of the tiger maybe here yes so we can place it like this great we're completing this puzzle really fast so the next one puzzle gonna be this let's turn around okay so here we have again you can see that here we have the leg of the parrot and here is the tree that the parrot is sitting. And here is another leg. So this puzzle piece goes right here. Great, well done. And the next one puzzle, the last one, gonna be this one. So let's see where we can place it. And here we have the blue color and the light orange color, right? And let's see where it could go. Um, and maybe I think it could go here because here is the three lines and here is the line. So maybe we can connect. Let's try. Great. Well done. So let's continue with our shapes. So here we have the orange shape and orange shape only has one hole. So let's try to match. Here we have blue shapes and orange. Does it match? No. Let's go down. Does it match with orange? This one. Yes. Great. Well done. And the next shape that we have is the blue shape and it has four holes. One, two, three and four. Great. And let's try to match with our shapes. Does it match with this shape? Actually, it does match with this shape. So let's place it on top. And the next one, we have the numbers. So we have number 10. And you can see it's a blue shape. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, we are making the penguin pretty happy. And the next one, we have the number three. And it's an orange shape. So let's count. One, two, and three. Great. We completed almost this number puzzle. And let's continue with the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the brown crayon. Let's shake it and open it. Great. And we have different puzzle pieces. So let's count how many puzzle pieces we have. We have one, two, three and four. We have four puzzle pieces. So let's start with the corner puzzle piece. Let's turn around and here we have the leaf, right? And here we can see that we have the part of the green parrot. So it could go right here. So we need to move away this one. And here we have the small piece of the eye and do like this. Great. And here we have the wing 
of the butterfly. And we can place it right here, fit it here. Great. Let's continue with the next one. So let's turn around and let's see. Mm, here we have the flower and we can see that there is the part of the butterfly. And here is the bamboo tree, right? So let's try to place maybe here, like this. Great. And the next one, let's turn around. Here is the body of the animal that we don't know yet who that who it is. So let's turn around. But here we can see we have a red flower. And where we have the red flower, we have it here and here. So this one is already done. So, but this one is still needs a parts. So I think it could go right like this. And also we have here the tail of the tiger. So let's try. Great, well done. We almost completed this puzzle. And the piece that we have is the eyes of that animal. So who that is? Let's, let's see. And I think this puzzle piece should go here because also here is the red part of the flower. And it is the elephant. Great, and the elephant has the big blue ears. Great, and the big eyes. Well done. So we only need to fill those empty spaces to complete our puzzle. Let's continue with our shape. So the shape that we have here is the red shape and it has five holes. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's try to match. Does it match with this one? No, let's move it down. Does it match with orange one? No, so, so let's move it down. Does it match with yellow one? No. Does it match with red one? Yes, well done. And let's take the next one shape. And the next shape that we're gonna take gonna be the green one. And let's count. One, two, three. It has three holes, right? Let's place it. Does it match with blue? No. Can it go here? No. Does it have two holes and it's a yellow like this? No. Is it the same as red one? No. Is it the same as green one? Yes. So let's place. Great. And next one, we have the orange shape with one hole. So let's try to match. So we have here the blue one and the orange. Does it match? No. Should go down. Does it match with this one? Yes. Great. And next one, we have the number eight red shape. So let's think where we can place this. And it goes right after number seven. So here is number eight. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. And the next number we have is number one, pink color. So where could go number one? It always starts with number one, like this, great. And the last crayon that we have is the pink crayon and it has a lot of things there inside. So let's open. Wow, so many shapes and numbers and puzzles. So let's take the shapes first and let's count. One, two, three. Great, and we only need three puzzle pieces. So let's turn around. And here we have the big and mighty leaf. And here you can see we have the leg of the elephant. Great, so let's try to place it down here like this. Amazing. And the next one we have, it's again leaves and also it's a blue air of the elephant and the tree. So it go, would go here, great. And the last one, this is our last puzzle piece. Let's turn around. Yes, and it's a tail of the parrot. And where could go the tail of the parrot? Yes, it could go here. Amazing, we've completed our puzzle. You're, we are doing so amazing because we are completing all this puzzle games in no time. So let's go through the shapes. So the next shape that we have is the red shape and it has five holes. It has one, two, three, four, and five. 
Great, let's match. Does it match with blue? No. Does it match with orange? No. Is it same as yellow one? No, it's a red. Is it the same as this one? Yes. So let's place like this. Great. And the next shapes that we have is orange shape and it has one hole, right? So let's try to match. Let's go here. Does it match with blue? No. Does it match with orange? Yes. Great, well done. And next one, we have the blue shape and blue shape has four holes. One, two, three, and four. Great, and let's try. Does it match with blue? Yes. Great, we've completed all our shapes. So we have green shape, we have red shape, we have yellow shape, we have orange shape, and we have blue shape. Well done. And let's continue with numbers. So the next number that we're gonna take gonna be the number two. And it is heart shape. You see, it's a heart. And it's a red color shape. So where we can place the number two? Yes, it goes right after number one. One and two. Great. And the next one, we have number nine. And it's an orange shape. And let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great, we've completed all our puzzles. We've completed the jungle puzzle where we have the elephant, the parrot, the tiger, the butterfly, ladybug, and flowers and leaves and trees. And we also completed our clock. So we have one o'clock, we have two o'clock, we have three o'clock, we have four o'clock, we have five o'clock, we have six o'clock, we have seven o'clock, we have eight o'clock, we have nine o'clock, we have 10 o'clock, and we have 11 o'clock, and the last one is 12 o'clock. Right, and the penguin is pretty happy with the completion of this clock game. And the last game that we had was the shape game. We were matching the shapes. So we learned about green shape, red shape, yellow shape, orange shape, and the blue shape. Amazing, we completed all our games. Well done. And today we're gonna solve the cow puzzle. And after the cow puzzle, we're gonna solve the dear baby puzzle. Let's start. Okay, so right now we have different puzzle pieces and we have cubes right so what we need to do we need to find the cow right so the first step would be to make all these cubes in one line like this and then what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate them one by one okay and we're gonna try to find the cow Okay, so the first step would be to take this cube and next what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate like this. And let's see if we can see the cow, right? So let's rotate. Hmm, can you see the cow? At the moment, no. So if we can find the cow, then what we should do, we should move it away. So then let's take the next one and again, Let's rotate, right? Let's push the cube till we see the cow, right? Or maybe the part of the cow. Let's rotate this side. Hmm, no, there is no cow. Okay, let's move it away. Then let's take another one. And let's do again, rotate and see if there is the cow, right? Rotate this side. If there is the cow. Hmm, no, okay, let's move it aside and take another one and let's rotate this and see then this side if there is the cow. Oh, there is the cow, the first puzzle. Amazing, congratulations. We found our first puzzle with a cow. So once we found the first puzzle, we're gonna place this puzzle here, right? So it would be our first one so then let's take another one and rotate 
and see if there is the cow, right? Let's look for the cow. Can you see the cow? If you see the cow, then let me know. Hmm, this doesn't, this cube doesn't have any cow parts. So let's take another one and rotate. One, two, three, four. And then another side, one. Hmm, so this seems to be like a cow tail. What do you think? So let's look at our first puzzle that we found this one and let's look at this one is this seems to be a cow yes so we found our first our first puzzle and then we found our second so what we can do we can combine them together like this so let's do it and yes so we've combined two puzzle pieces okay let's continue with our search and let's take another puzzle piece and rotate this. And if you see the cow, then please let me know. Please let me know and I'm gonna stop. Should I stop? Okay, so here we have the hand and the cow leg, right? And the cow nose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this here at the moment. And then let's keep searching. So the next one, let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Hmm. So we rotate this side and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate this side. Can you see the cow? No! Okay, let's move it aside and then let's take another one like this. And then, as you know, we need to look for the cow. Can you see the maybe face of the cow or eyes of the cow, right? Is this a cow? Is this a cow? Yes, correct! So we found another puzzle piece for the cow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this puzzle piece and we're gonna move like this. And great, we combined three puzzle pieces and this is another one. So let's move together like this. Great, we've combined four puzzle pieces. So we almost finished the cow puzzle, but let's continue with searching the cow puzzle pieces. So let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Oh, I don't see any cow. Okay, let's rotate down. There is the cow. Is this a cow? No, this is the zebra. It's a different animal and it's a wild animal, right? So the cow, the cow is, which animal is the cow? The cow is farm animal, correct. Okay, let's keep going. So let's look for the cow. Hmm. Let's rotate, then go down like this. No, there is no any cow here. Okay, let's take another one and rotate. And okay, who is that? Is that the cow? A leg of the cow? Yes, seems to me it is. So let's take this and let's move. Maybe to this one side, but if you look closely, it doesn't work here. So what we need, we need to move this puzzle piece right here, right? So we need to find the middle part. Hey, okay, great. So let's keep searching the cow puzzle. So let's take this one and rotate like this. Okay, here is the cow, look. And this puzzle piece is in the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this right in the middle, like this. Great! So we found already the cow, but we still need to find the top part, right? So let's keep going. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this puzzle piece and we're gonna rotate and see if there is the cow. No, it doesn't seem to me that there is the cow, but let's keep rotating and see. No, let's take another one and let's rotate. And if there is the cow, maybe some kind of part of the cow, right? That we need to find. Let's rotate. Hmm. No, I don't see. Okay, so let's move it away and take another one and rotate like this, ok, 
Okay, here is the maybe the zebra, right? But we need a cow. Cow is the farm animal, right? Okay. So we're gonna move it away, then take another one. Okay, and then rotate. And if there is the cow, let's look for the cow. No, there is no cow. Okay, so let's move it away. And then another one, the last one. So let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Hmm, no, there is no cow. Okay, so this puzzle pieces that didn't contain the cow, but what we need to find is the top, top part of the cow. So we need to find the horns, right? And here is also like a butterfly, the white butterfly. So what we're gonna focus on gonna be the horns, right? So let's try this puzzle piece and then let's rotate this way and then look for the horns of the cow. Hmm, this seems to me like the horns of the cow and the part of the butterfly. So let's take this and place it like this. Great. So let's keep going. So we need to find the white butterfly. Okay, so what we should do we should take this pieces and then maybe which one should we take to find the butterfly? Mm, maybe this one, let's do it. Let's rotate and... Hmm, do you think that this is from our cow? What do you think? Should we try to move this right here? Let's try and yes! Great! Well done! So the last Thing that we need to find I think it's gonna be the tree here right or leaves so maybe let's do it so what we should do hmm maybe this one could work let's try we always should try right hmm it doesn't work well so this is a different puzzle piece so what we should do we should look for the tree right and when we see the tree we should try it this is also tree so maybe we should try it and no, it doesn't work. So when it doesn't work, what we should do, we should place this puzzle piece away. And then we also already tried this one, right? So when we try it, then we're gonna move this away. So the next one, okay, maybe this one. Let's try and see. Let's try and rotate and see if there is some kind of cow or, or the tree, right? Hmm, maybe this one. So this is the ear of the cow. So if you look at this cow, you see it has the yellow ear, right? And here is also yellow ear. So what we should do, we should move it like that. Great, well done. We've completed the cow puzzle. Amazing, so we found the cow. So here is the cow, here is the butterfly. Here is the sun, here we have the tree and the leaves, here is our bird, and here are two ants, one and two, amazing, well done, let's continue with the next puzzle. So let's continue with solving the deer puzzle, the baby deer. So the first thing, as always, you know, we should take our puzzle, place it like this, and then we should rotate with our finger okay so let's do it and let's try to see if there is the deer right mm, this seems to me like an ear of the deer so when we found something from the deer then we're gonna place it here and we're gonna leave it and then we're gonna take another piece right and then we're gonna rotate and see if there is the deer right this is the tiger who is that what do you think? Is this a deer that we need? Yes, great. Let's take our puzzle piece and place it like that. And then let's continue with the next one. So, and let's rotate and see if there is the deer, right? Hmm. Let's rotate on the other side like this. And hmm, this seems to me like a part of the deer. What do you think? Should we take this puzzle piece to our board? Yes, let's do it. And great. Let's take another one. This one. And 
let's move it and rotate mm. no this the, this might be the monkey right but we need a deer right so if there is the deer let's rotate a different side hmm this seems to me like a deer with the flowers on the body that's what we need so let's move this puzzle piece to other ones great so let's take another puzzle piece right and let's rotate and see if there is the deer right so when i'm rotating you just let me know if i should stop okay so who we have here here we have the part of the deer right the orange the tail let's move this here great let's continue and try to find those parts let's rotate and see if we can find the deer part that we need for our puzzle hmm this seems to me like also that what we need right maybe this is the part of the ear of the deer okay let's move it and the next one let's rotate and see and we also always should look at the image itself in the left corner right so in the left corner you can see our deer and you will see that we just need to complete this puzzle by finding the right piece so let's move it hmm can you see the deer or maybe some kind of part of the deer i don't see right now so when we can't find then we just move it away and then we get back to it later so let's take this puzzle piece and can we see the deer hmm. i don't see the deer but let's try again this butterfly could be from our puzzle okay that's what we need so let's take the last one and then rotate this side then that side and this side mm, where is the deer is this a deer with the eye closed yes this is what we need okay let's take our puzzle piece here hey okay. so what we're gonna do now we're gonna try to try to take the face place it and then we have the eye here so maybe that's not the eye this is the eyebrows right so on top of the eye like this great well done so then we should take the ear of the deer and try to connect together like this great so we need another part of the ear so maybe if we're gonna take this puzzle piece and move it and yes great we completed the face of the deer so let's work on the body let's take this puzzle piece and move it and connect great well done so we need the tail right so here is the another part of the body so let's move it and combine amazing and there is another one with the tail right so here comes our tail and yes it worked pretty well so what we need right now is this part and this one so here we have the mighty butterfly and the tree and well done and here is another part with the tree right so here is our tree and the bird so let's move it together and great we've completed the deer puzzle so we found the deer here is the flowers on the body here are the two birds one the yellow bird and two the pink bird and we also have the butterfly and on this puzzle we have three trees so one two and three amazing well done we've completed two puzzles the deer and the hedgehog see you in the next video and today we're gonna learn about the animals and we have a jungle and here we have puzzle full of animals we have giraffe we have leopard we have monkey we have panda tiger we have another panda the bird 
and we have the sun and clouds. So let's start. Okay, so it's time to find the puzzle pieces for our puzzle board. So the first step that we're gonna do is that we're gonna turn around all the puzzle pieces. So it's easier for us to find the puzzles and complete this puzzle board. So let's turn around all the pieces. Okay, so we have few left that we need to turn around. Okay, so, and the last one. Great, so right now we've turned around all the puzzle pieces. And here we have our image that's gonna help us to complete this puzzle. Okay, so let's start. So first animal that we're gonna find gonna be the leopard. So you can see it has the yellow with brown dots. Okay, and the leopard is smiling. So what we need to do, we need to find the old puzzle pieces that have the yellow with brown dots. Can you see this one? This is the part of the leopard. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's place on a board. Okay, and then let's find the next one. Let's try to find the yellow body with brown dots. Is this a yellow body with brown dots, the leg? Correct, let's take this puzzle piece and place it, amazing. Let's try to find, is this a yellow with brown? No, it's a brown with the brown color. So this one is the tail of the leopard. Let's take this and place on the board. Let's try to find the next one. Is this a leopard? Yellow with the brown dots. Correct, let's take this and place it here. Then the next one, Yes, this is again the leopard with brown dots. Correct. Okay, so let's look at our image that's got that helping us. Let's look. So here we have the body, the tail, the head and the legs, right? So let's try to combine. So this is gonna be in the corner like this. So we have here the mushroom and here is our leopard sitting. So the next one gonna be the tail of the leopard. So let's combine and press. Great, we just combine our first puzzle piece. And the next one gonna be the legs of the leopard, right? So let's connect them together and great. And the next one is the face. You see the leopard is smiling. Okay, let's take this puzzle piece and move it here and press gray. So we almost completed the leopard. And the last one gonna be the leopard face. So here's the eyes and nose, right? So let's connect them together and gray, done. So what we need to find is the tail. So small part of the tail and the ear, right? So let's try to find them. So let's try to find the ear and the tail of the leopard. And this one gonna take a bit of time because it's, it's so small details, but we need to find them. So maybe this one looks like an ear of the leopard. Let's take the ear of the leopard and place it here. So let's connect together and press gray. So we just need to find the tail of the leopard. Can you see the tail of the leopard? Hmm, let's look again. So let's look at our helping picture. And you see here is the tail. That's what we need to find. And if you look at this puzzle piece, here you can see the small part of the tail and the bird. So let's try to take this puzzle piece and let's move and press like this together. Great, we've completed the leopard. So the next animal that we're gonna try to find gonna be the giraffe. And you see the giraffe has pretty long neck, right? So, and the giraffe is pretty tall. 
So let's try to find the giraffe. So we need to find brown color. You see the giraffe is brown color. So let's find the puzzle pieces that has the giraffe brown color. So is this a giraffe? Let's look. Let's compare it to our image. This one. Yes, correct. So we're gonna take this here and just gonna leave it. Then let's try to find the next one. Let's look at this one. Is this a giraffe? This part. Can you see? Yes, correct. Let's take this. So the next one again. Let's look at this. Is this a giraffe? You see? Let's take and let's try to compare. So yes, correct. Let's place it on our board. So we already found three puzzle pieces. Let's continue. So what we need to find is the neck. Is this a neck of the giraffe? Let's look at the guiding picture. And yes, this is the neck, you see? This is the neck of the giraffe. Let's take this and place on our board. So we already found one, two, three, four puzzle pieces. So let's try to find the face of the giraffe. So let's look at the image. So here is the face. So we need to find different parts. So maybe try to find the nose of the giraffe. So let's look at this, mm, where it could be. We accidentally found the head of the giraffe. You see, here is the sun. Let's look again together. So here is the sun, the giraffe head, and here is the giraffe and the sun. So let's take this and place it here. So the next one we're gonna try to find gonna be the nose of the giraffe. And still it's pretty hard because it's really small detail. But let's look at this puzzle piece. Can you see there is the small part of the giraffe? And let's compare. So here we are. Here's the nose of the giraffe and here's the giraffe. Great, let's take this and let's place on our board. And the last one gonna be the tail of the giraffe, right? So here we have the part of the tail, right? And we need to find the bottom part. So if we look at this puzzle piece, this one, we could see that here are legs and the tail. And let's look at the guiding image. Can you see the legs and the tail? Great, let's take this. Okay, so right now we found all the puzzle pieces. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to connect them. So the first thing that we're gonna start with gonna be the neck of the giraffe. So here is the neck of the giraffe, right? Here is the neck of the giraffe. So let's combine and press tray. So the next one gonna be the face of the giraffe and the ear. So let's see where the face. Can you see? Here is the small horns of the giraffe and the sun. So if you look here, we have the sun and the face, right? So let's press it and great, amazing. And then the next one, what we have is gonna be the legs of the giraffe right so here is the flower and the legs and also the part of the leopard you see the small part let's press and great and let's look at our guiding image let's look at our guiding image let's look here are our legs they are at the bottom right so let's take this and let's place it here right like this great but we need a puzzle piece that's gonna combine them. And I think it should be this one. Let's try and see. Does it look great to you? Does it connect? Yes, because we have the tail, we have the legs and we have the body. So let's press. Amazing, well done. So the last one that we need to combine gonna be the body. So we're gonna complete the body, you see? And here is the small part of our Simba lion, right? So here's the giraffe. And let's press it. Great! We almost completed the giraffe, but we left some pieces, the legs. So we need to find the leg, right? So let's try and see where is the leg. Let's try to find it. Mm, where you can see the giraffe leg. Can you see? Yes, here is the giraffe leg. Let's look at our guiding image and you can see that here is the giraffe leg. Yes, great. Let's take this and 
try to press great amazing and the another piece that we have but we haven't used gonna be the nose of the giraffe here you see here we have the nose of the giraffe it's really important to focus on small details so great let's amazing complete so the next one that we are gonna try to find gonna be the monkey let's look at this here is our monkey that's standing on one hand great and here's our face of the monkey here's our first puzzle piece so let's try to play and where is the face of the monkey here is the face of the monkey so let's try to connect and press great we found the face of the monkey nice job so the next one gonna be the tail of the monkey right so let's look at the guiding image here is the tail of the monkey that what we need to find and let's look here is our puzzle piece the tail of the monkey you see amazing so let's take this puzzle piece and let's place it so like here so we have found the tail and boom done great and we need to find the left leg right the left leg of the monkey so here we have the left leg let's try to combine with other puzzle pieces and let's press should we do it and yes great we completed the half of the puzzle we found the monkey the leopard and the giraffe and also we have the funny sun great so the next one that we're gonna complete gonna be the tiger can you see the tiger so it has the orange color with black stripes okay so we need to find the puzzle pieces that has the orange color with black stripes can you see this is the orange with black stripes this is the tail of the tiger great so let's try to put it on the puzzle so here we also have ladybug and press it great we found the tail of the tiger and then let's try to find other pieces of the tiger so is this the tiger tiger is standing you see the orange with black stripes and the white belly let's look at our guiding image and compare yes this is the piece that we need so let's try to combine and one two three let's press great we found the bottom part of the tiger we found the tail and the legs and a bit of belly great so what we need to find is the hand of the tiger here so let's take this one piece and let's compare yes this is the piece that we need so let's take this piece and try to connect like this and great we found another piece for the tiger amazing so there is the face of the tiger and can you see the face of the tiger is this a tiger no is this a tiger no is this is the tiger yes let's take this puzzle piece and connect like this and press great well done so we need to find the part of the tiger but we also need to find the panda let's look at our guiding image guiding image is always helping us so here is the hand and here is the baby panda and mama panda so let's try to find the mama panda and the baby panda let's look at our puzzle pieces that we are left with so this is all puzzle pieces that we are left with where is the mama panda and the baby panda together is this one yes correct or this one this one correct well done so let's take this and place it and press great amazing and then let's try to find the another panda you can see at the top there is another panda sitting and eating bamboo okay maybe this is the father can you see the panda here can you tell me where is the panda can you tell yes this is the panda let's take this puzzle piece and we need to place this here let's look at our guiding image and yes here is the puzzle piece you see at the top of the tiger right above the tiger we have this puzzle piece let's take this 
and where we should place this puzzle piece tell me where we should place do you know where we should place this puzzle piece yes you're correct well done let's place it here and press amazing so we are left with few puzzle pieces to complete this jungle animal puzzle great let's take next one and the next one gonna be the simba the lion okay can you see the simba so we need the face here's the face of the simba right so and here is another part of the face can we connect these pieces together right away like this yes great so we found two pieces and then we connected them so let's take all of this together so here is the bird and here is the bird right where we should place this do you know where we should place these puzzle pieces yes we should place them like this and let's press and yes amazing well done and then what we need to find is the eye of the panda here so we need the eye the left eye let's look at our guiding image let's look at this puzzle piece and this image can you see the eye and here is the eye so it's gonna place like this great let's take this one let's look at our puzzle do you see where we should place this puzzle piece can you see the place yes you're right nice job we should place it right here amazing so we left with three puzzle pieces so what we need to do we need to find the tail of the simba let's look at this puzzle piece can you see that there is the tail of the simba here yes and that's what we need let's look at our puzzle do you know where we should place this puzzle piece please let me know right now do you know yes you're correct again we should place it right here great job let's press amazing we only left with two puzzle pieces and the second we need to find the leg of the simba can you see the leg which one does contain the leg yes this one so we have the leg and the paw let's take this let's look at our guiding image and yes this is where we should place it at the bottom right of the simba so let's take where we should place this puzzle piece here or here where do you think let me know should we place here yes no you're right we should place it here and press great we almost completed our puzzle piece so the last piece that we need to find gonna be the part of the belly of the simba you see this is the belly with the fury okay let's take this and how we should place it like this or like this please let me know like this yes okay let's try and great we've completed our jungle animal puzzle and here we have the monkey that is dancing here we have the leopard the smiling here we have the giraffe that's relaxing okay here we have the simba the lion that's smiling here we have the father panda here we have the mama panda and the baby panda giving the bamboo to baby panda and here we have the tiger that's having the thumbs up amazing well done we've completed this jungle animal puzzle see you in the next video and today we're gonna solve the puzzle about two dogs and this puzzle is called be kind okay let's start let's open the puzzle and it is paw patrol yay so let's open it and see okay great and let's start with searching for the corner puzzle piece right so that's what we're gonna start with so that we have this is the first corner puzzle piece right so we have another corner puzzle piece so it's a corner right we need to find another oh it's a third one great and there is the yeah fourth one so we found four corner puzzle piece and let's look at the image and see where we can place them so here we have a butterfly and butterfly is on the top right corner so we're gonna place it here and this one 
is on a top too so here we have the flower right it's there behind that paw patrol so let's place it here okay and then we have the letter b so here is the b letter b kind so b right so we're gonna place it here and then another corner piece we're gonna place at the bottom right corner so first what we're gonna do we have the word be kind at the bottom so let's try to find the puzzle pieces for the word be kind so we need to find e k i n and d letters so let's start to search for them so there is the e letter right so let's turn around all of them one by one and see where the other words can you see the other puzzle pieces that have the words i can see them so there is the first one the second one let's take them and let's place them here and then continue our discovery so let's turn around this one right so there is okay there is also this one is the letter this one is this one and this one let's take them all together and let's move them to our puzzle okay so we have a lot of letters here right okay let's start with the letter b so there is the b part of the b here and e right so we can combine them like this great and let's take the next letter so what next letter we have here is letter k okay and here we have the letter k here so we can combine it like this great and after k what letter we have letter i so it's b kind so it's letter i let's connect them yes great and the last letter we have is the letter d so let's connect yes we have b kind let's take this one so it's a part of the d letter and let's combine like this great let's take another one and here we have the letter K and the letter I. So we can connect like this. Great. And another we have letter E, right? So letter E goes here. So there is the heart and letter E and K. Great. Let's connect them. And another one, what we have here is letter N, right? No. So we're gonna connect like this. Great. Amazing. And the last one gonna be for the letter B, the part. Let's connect. Yes, so we completed the B kind. So if you look at the at the package, you see that there is B kind. And we just completed the B kind by finding the puzzle pieces for all the letters. So that's what we were focused on. And right now, what we're gonna be focused is that we're gonna focus on that side puzzle pieces. So we're gonna go like this, right? So let's start. So here we have the side puzzle piece. Let's try to find the side puzzle piece. Is there where we have one side like this, right? So we need to find all the side puzzle pieces, right? This one is the side puzzle piece. This one is the side, right? This one with the heart, the side puzzle piece, another side puzzle piece. Maybe let's take this one is the side puzzle piece and this one this can you see any other i can see i can see so there is another one right can you see any more no there is no any so let's start so here we have the part of the bow and here is the part of the bow so let's try to connect them like this great and next one what we have if we look at the image we have here the mouth and the heart right so here is the mouth and there is the heart so let's try to go so here is the heart and here is the mouth let's connect ray you're doing amazing and let's then take our eye and if we look at the package we can see that there is the eye and then it starts the rainbow right so we're gonna take the eye and connect ray you're doing amazing so the next one thing is gonna be about the rainbow so let's think which the next puzzle we should take. So there is two puzzle pieces that represents the rainbow, but which one gonna work? So we're gonna 
try to test. Is it this one? Yeah, it goes pretty well, so it's this one. Correct. And then let's take the our corner puzzle piece. Right? Like this. Great. So let's then think about the top side puzzle pieces. What could be on the top? So on the top, we could see that there is the rainbow on the top, right? The orange color. So let's take the puzzle pieces with the rainbow like this. And let's try to connect, right? So let's try this one. So here we have a flower. Here we have a rainbow. So here also we have a flower. Let's connect like that. Great. And let's take the next one rainbow so maybe it's this one let's try great and we just need to find the puzzle piece that would connect the butterfly and the rainbow and i think it's this one because here we have the wings of the butterfly and the part of the rainbow so let's try to connect them together like this amazing we completed the top puzzle pieces and we just need to complete this side right so if you look at the package we can see that there is goes from the top to the bottom, from butterfly till the legs of the dog, right? Let's try to find them. And where we're gonna start, it's gonna be the legs of the dog. So if we look, here is the heart and here is the legs of the dog. And if we're gonna look at the package, here is also the heart and legs of the dog. So let's try to combine like this. Great. And let's then take another one and next one what we're gonna take gonna be the butterfly because the butterfly would be easy to connect so we need to find the parts of the butterfly right and there is the small parts of the butterfly that we could connect and let's try press softly great and then we have the ending of the rainbow here so then starts the ear of the dog let's take it like this and place and press great and the last one side puzzle because we don't have any more side puzzle pieces here then last one would be this one so let's connect like this great we connected the puzzle pieces here so we connected the right side puzzle pieces the top the left and the bottom so right now we're gonna work in the middle of the puzzle piece and where we're gonna start to work is by connecting the side puzzle pieces with those puzzle pieces that needs to be found and connected so let's try this one here is the eye of the dog and here we can see that there is the eye of the dog so let's try to connect great amazing and let's then try to find the batch of the dog so you can see there is the batch and if you look at the package we also have here like a small batch right and here we have a small batch so let's try to connect down here, right? And let's do it. Great, amazing. And let's then take, and let's then work through. So then we have a paw of the dog. So let's look at this one. Here we also have the paw of the dog. Here we have a mouth of the dog, right? And let's try to connect like this. Yes, works pretty well. And the next one is the face of the second dog right here is the mouth and if we look in the package again if i go back to the package we could see that there is the mouth and there is the eyes right so we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to combine yes goes really well and then we're gonna take the second eye of the dog and here is the eye and here's the part of that yes great and the last one gonna be the clothes and the badge of the dog so here's the parts of the dog and here it's missing, right? So we're gonna try to connect. Yes, you're doing really well. And the next one gonna be, we're gonna start with the helmets, uh, with the hats of the, of the dog. So here is the one piece and here is the another. So here's the part of the dog and here is the head of the dog, right? So we're gonna connect. Yes, really good. And then we have another hat of the dog and ear. So let's try to connect like this. Amazing. And we are only left with three puzzle pieces for the rainbow. So let's take them together and let's see where we can place them. So this one we can do, maybe we can do like this. No, because we have here different colors. So if we're gonna turn around, 
and we're gonna flat press it softly then yes it works and if we're gonna take this one and we're gonna place it on the right side let's try it yes it works and another one what we need to do here we need to turn around because the white thing is closing right so we need to press like this and we completed the wall puzzle and this puzzle is called be kind so we started with the corner pieces this one right then we try to find the, all the side puzzle pieces and after we completed the border of this puzzle we started to go through one by one through each dog and then the last that we've completed was the rainbow and we've done this really good well done congratulations and today we're gonna learn about the camel and we're gonna solve this puzzle okay let's start okay let's start so the first step to find our puzzles of the camel we need to rotate each puzzle so let's start with this and let's take and rotate and let's try to see if there is the camel and how the camel looks is that he has the brown color and can we see if there is any brown color yes we see there is the tree there is another tree but we don't see any camel here okay so we're gonna put it aside and then let's take the next one so and see oh here is our camel with the tail great let's take this puzzle and place on the board like this great let's take the next one okay and rotate and see if there is any camel here right so there is a lot of different animals but there is no camel let's try to focus okay there is no any camel right so we're gonna put this aside and then take the next one so let's see can you see the brown color it might be our camel but the wall square is filled with brown color so what do you think should we take this puzzle piece to our board yes okay let's take this okay we found two puzzle pieces so the next one let's again try to rotate first right so we're gonna rotate and see if there is the camel can you see the camel the brown color maybe the leg maybe the tail maybe the body can you see the ca yes here is our camel it's a brown leg great let's take this amazing so the next one we're gonna take this one and let's try to find the lack of the camel it should be somewhere can you see if there is the lack of the camel can you see it yes it's here great okay let's take this one and place it in a puzzle great amazing so let's take the next one and let's try to see if there is the camel let's rotate like this yes and can we see if there is any camel can we see the cactus maybe the green cactus like this one maybe you could see right now here let's try can you see it let's rotate okay this is what we need this is the cactus and this is the lack of the camel amazing okay great we already found few pieces but let's keep going you're doing great so let's take the next one and see if there is the camel so the brown color or maybe the cactus or maybe the sand right the sand is the yellow color okay maybe there is the camel here it might be the camel because this is the part of the tail of the camel and here's the tree and a bit of sand right so should we take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board what do you think yes or no yes okay great so the next one let's try to find the cactus let's try to find it can we see the cactus is this a cactus yes okay maybe try again and see if there is another cactus is this a cactus no it's a mushroom okay and this is yes this is the cactus you were correct amazing so let's take this puzzle piece 
to our board. Great. And let's keep going with the next one. So the next one, again, let's rotate. So the first thing that you do is that you rotate the puzzle. So what I'm doing, I'm rotating this puzzle piece, right? And how this shape is called? It's called cube. Okay, great. So here we have, this is the leg of the camel. What do you think? Is this the leg of the camel? Should we take to our puzzle? This one, should we place here? Yes, let's do it. Nice. Okay. And then let's try to find the camel. Is this a camel? Should we go and find maybe other parts of it? Or should we take this one? Is this a camel? Yes? Yes, you're right. This is the camel. And you can see there is the eye. There is the mouth. Great. And let's take this camel and place it on a puzzle board like this. Amazing. And then let's take the next one. So the next one, again, we need to find some kind of cactus or maybe camel, right? So let's rotate the puzzle piece, right? And let's rotate so we can rotate this way or we can rotate this way, right? So what I'm doing, I'm rotating the cube, right? And is this a cactus? What do you think? Is this a cactus? Yes, this is what we need. Great. Okay. And then let's take the next one. What we need to find right now is a part of the pyramid, right? Pyramid are in Egypt, right? And there will be the sun. Is this a sun? Part of the sun? Yes, and this is part of the cloud. And here we have the part of the pyramid. Amazing. So let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. Great, look how many puzzle pieces we already found. And we only left with three one. One, two, and three. Okay, let's go through them. And let's try to find other puzzle pieces. So what we need to find is the sun of the puzzle. Is this a sun that's smiling to us? Let's look again. Yes, this is the sun, right? So that's what we need for our puzzle. And this might be, it could be the cloud right here. And let's take this. Okay. So the next one, let's try to look if there will be any other piece for our puzzle. So maybe it could be the camel. It could be the cactus. It could be the tree, right? Is this what we need? No, this is the panda. It's a bamboo. Okay. And here we have the legs of the camel, right? So here we have the legs. Okay, let's take this puzzle piece to our board. Great. And we only left with the last puzzle piece. So let's rotate first and see if there is any part of the body of the camel. We need the brown color. This is the brown color, but is this an animal called camel? No, this is the koala, right? So let's keep going and let's try to find the camel. This is the apple, right? And this is, I think this is the hedgehog. Okay, is this a camel? Can you see? Here is the pyramid and here is the body of the camel. Should we take this puzzle piece to our board or should we keep rotating it? What do you think? Let me know. Yes, we should take this to our puzzle board, correct. And right now we need these puzzle pieces to combine. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's start with the face of the camel, right? Here's the face. So let's place aside all the, all the puzzle pieces and then let's start with the face. So we have the face of the camel. So the next one, what we need to do, we need to try to find the body, right? So this seems to me that we can connect with this puzzle piece. Let's try, you see when I'm connecting, they're going pretty well because they're connecting between two puzzle pieces. Great. And then the next one could be the another puzzle piece for the body. So you see, I'm moving to the left, right? Because there should be more place for another piece. So maybe we can try this like this. 
it doesn't look like this would go here but let's maybe leave it and let's wait till the end and see if it works okay so the next thing that we need to find gonna be the sun right so the sun is somewhere at the top like this but what do you think if we're gonna try to combine them together and just gonna push them and yes it goes pretty well so there is another part of the sun that we can place in a corner right so let's do it and amazing well done okay so there is tail of the camel so tail of the camel is somewhere here right so here we have the part of the tail let's try to place it here and maybe try this one right so here is the tail of the camel again so it's continuous right so when we connect together we see that this part of the tail connects with this one and great amazing well done so the next one what we need to do we need the legs and we have a lot of legs so it might be pretty difficult to place them together but what we should do first we have the cactus right and here we have the cactus maybe let's combine them together like this and then let's start try to find where we can place those legs can we maybe place here what do you think yes let's do it and maybe leave right now like like this and then see if we need to move somewhere else so then we're gonna take the leg and let's place it maybe here right like that great it goes pretty well you're doing great so then we're gonna take another part of the legs and what we should do we should move to the right like this great so we need this part of the leg you see here is the leg but it it still continues so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this puzzle piece we're gonna place it here and then we're gonna move like this and yes great well done so the next thing that we're gonna try to do gonna be the cactus you see here is the cactus and here we have the cactus so let's combine them right now and yes and then let's take those two puzzle pieces and place here in into empty space so you can see we have the hair of the camel right and the piece of the cactus so let's try to place it like that and voila done great so what we should do we have those two puzzle pieces that we still need to rotate so let's rotate them and see if there is the camel or maybe the tree so this could be the part of the tree right so let's try it and see and yes great amazing so we found the tree and then the next one we need to find the part of the cloud and the hair of the camel so let's maybe rotate and what do you think if this piece gonna work well with with this space can we place it here yes correct well done great so we completed the camel puzzle that camel is in the egypt so we found the sun we found the camel it's a brown color we found the cactus we found the tree amazing well done see you in the next video and today we're gonna learn about the farm animals and the savannah animals and we're also gonna learn about the numbers and learn how to count them so let's start oh where did they go and we need to find the farm animals and the wild animals and we also need to find the numbers and we have colorful crayons so let's pick the pink crayon and let's open okay and Okay, here we have two animals and the number so let's go for the animals and here we have a pig and is it pig the farm animal or the wild animal let's look around so here is the farm animals and here is the wild animals and where should we place the pig yes the pig is the farm animal 
so we need to place it let's find the shape here is the shape of the pig so let's fit it here great and let's look at the next animal so who we have here is a rooster great and is a rooster a farm animal or the wild animal should we place it on this board or on this board okay so the rooster is farm animal and let's find the same shape so here we have a big tail and maybe we can try to place it here so let's try here no it doesn't go here well so we need to find another place and i think it could be this one but maybe we can try like this no you can see here is the part of the leg so if we're gonna turn around and do this great we found the rooster so then let's go through the number and here we have the number six great and let's look at the number board and where we can place the number six can you see let's count one two three four five and six great and we also have six wheels one two three four five and six amazing we found our first number and two farm animals let's continue by opening the next crayons so let's take the brown one and let's shake it and okay we have here a lot of wheels and also the animals so let's start with the animals so we have here mama elephant and baby elephant and where we should place uh, the elephants should we place on the wild animal board or on farm animal board where do you think we should and yes right we should place on the wild animal board okay and where we should fit them let's look at this shape it's really long and huge so here is this place for the two elephants so let's place great well done and let's look at the next one so who we have here it's a giraffe and is a giraffe the wild animal or the farm animal do you think it's the farm or the wild one correct you're right the giraffe is wild animal so let's place this wild animal in the corresponding shape so here is the shape of the giraffe here and well done congratulations and we also have the sheep and where and is the sheep the farm animal or the wild animal what do you think correct the sheep is the farm animal so let's find the correct shape maybe let's try it here no doesn't go here well and maybe let's try this shape and yes well done let's continue with our numbers so here we have the number 10 and it's a violet color so let's look at the number board and see where we can place the number 10 can you see yes we can place it here at the end of the number board like this great and we also have 10 wheels that we can put here let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one ten amazing good job and the next we're gonna open the blue yellow green orange and red and which one we should open which one do you think let's open the yellow one let's take the crayon and let's shake oh so many animals here we have in that crayon so let's go for the animals we have four animals here 
So let's take this animal. And here we have the rabbit. And let's look at the two boards where we should place the rabbit. On the farm animal side or on a wild animal side? Should it go here or here? Correct, it should go on a farm animal. And where we should place, you see the rabbit is pretty small. So there is only one place for the rabbit, here. Great. Let's continue with other animals. And here we have another animal. And who do you think it is? It is bull. Great. And where we should take the bull? To the farm anim animal or to the wild animal? Let's look again. Here or here? Yes, we should place the bull on the farm animal side. And let's find the place. Should we do it here? No, we can't. So let's try to use this shape. And array, amazing. And then the next one, let's turn around. And who we have here? You know it, it's a monkey. And let's look at two boards. Is it wild animal or is it farm animal? Let's look and think. Should it go here or here? Yes, the monkey should go in a wild animal board. Where should we place the monkey? Yes, it should go here. Nice, beautiful. And then let's take the next one. Who we have here? It's called Yak. And where does the Yak live? In Savannah. Okay, so the Yak is wild animal. Okay, and where should we place the Yak? Let's find the correct shape. And can you see it? Yes, it's this one. Great. Well done. And let's continue with the number. Here we have the number three, and it is yellow color. Okay, so let's look at the numbers board. Where we should place the number three? Can you see? And yes, here. Great, and let's count together. One, two, and three. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crane that we're gonna open gonna be the orange one. Let's take and shake it. Well done. And let's look what we have here. We have three animals and the numbers. So let's start with the animals. Let's turn around this one. And who we have here? The yellow animal who lives in the savannah. It's called leopard and the leopard is wild animal so we need to place it on the wild board right and the leopard gonna go which shape should we pick do you know yes it's this one we should pick this one great beautiful and then let's take the next shape let's turn around who we have here. You know the name of that animal for sure. It's a lion. Great. And the king of the jungle. So let's think where we can put the lion. On a wild animal board or on a farm animal board? Which one? Yes, right, on the wild animal board. And there is one place for the lion. And it is, can you see? Yes, it is here well done and let's take the another animal and who we have here it's called ram okay and ram is the farm animal or the wild animal let's decide should we place here or here yes correct the ram is farm animal and here is the place for the ram let's put here Great, amazing. And let's look at those numbers. So here we have the number seven. And let's look at the number board. 
Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And let's put our wheels. One, two, three, four, five, next one, six, and the last one, seven. Amazing. And let's look at the next number. And this is number nine. Hey, okay. and it's a pink color, right? Let's look at the board where we can place the number nine can you see yes we can place the number nine here great and let's do the wheels one two three four five six seven eight and the last one yes nine we've completed almost the number board the farm animal board and the wild animal board and we have left with three beautiful crayons we have the blue crayon the green crayon and the red crayon let's take the red one and shake it and then open okay we have here three animals and this is called zebra and where does zebra live Yes, in the savanna. So let's take the zebra and place in the same kind of shape, you know? So let's put here. Great, well done. And the next one animal that we're gonna open gonna be cow. And where you should place the cow? On the wild animal board or on the farm animal board? Where should, should we place? Here or here? Yes, you're right. We should put the cow on a farm animal board. So here is the place for the cow. Let's try. Great. Well done. And let's take the next one. Who we have here? Okay, this is the duck. It's a small animal, but is the duck the farm animal or the wild animal? Yes, the duck is the farm animal. So here is the place for the duck. Let's try. Great, amazing. And then let's look at the numbers. So here we have number two and it's a red color. Let's look at the number board. Here is one and this one is called two. And we also have two wheels great we have one and two amazing and then let's look at this number this is number one and it's also red color so let's take the number one and place it at the beginning of the counting right so one two so one is always first and then let's place our wheel like this Great! We almost completed two animal boards and the number boards and we only left with two crayons. So let's pick the green crayon. Let's shake. And what we have here? Here we have the savanna tree. And where does the savanna tree go? It grows in savanna. So the savanna tree is the wild tree. So we need to place that tree. It's not the animal, it's a tree. So here is the place for the savanna tree. Let's try. Great, well done. And then let's look at this animal. Who is that? You know it? It is goat with a bell, right? And the goat is smiling. So is it the wild animal or the farm animal? Let's decide where should it go? Yes, it is farm animal. And we only have three empty places left. So we need to fit this goat in. Can you see? Yes, here's the place for the goat. Great, amazing. And let's take the next one. 
So who we have here? It's called Rhino. So the Rhino is wild animal. Great. And here we have the wild animal board. Here is the last empty space for the animal. And I think it's for the Rhino. Let's try. Amazing. Beautiful. And then let's take the next animal who we have here. Here we have turkey. Great. And turkey is, let's look at the board. So we already completed the wild animal board. So this is, is the farm animal. So here is the place for the turkey. Okay, let's do it. Great. Amazing. And then let's learn about the number. So this is number four and it's a green color number. So let's count together. One, two, three and four. Amazing. And let's take the wheels. One, two, three and four. Well done. We almost completed, but we already completed the wild animal board and we only left with the last crayon and it is blue one okay so here we have two animals this one is called donkey and it's a farm animal and let's look at our farm animal board where we can put the donkey where is the space for the donkey yes here is the space for the donkey. Let's do it together. Great. Beautiful. And then let's take the next one. And it is called, you know it, it is goose. And let's take the goose to the farm animal board. And here's the last space for the goose. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. We've completed the farm animal board and the wild animal board. So we just need to complete the number board. So let's learn about the numbers. So this is number five, right? And the number five is blue color. So let's place on the number board. Here is the space and the shape for the five, like this. And let's put the wheels. One, two, three, four and last one five amazing and let's look at this number this is number eight and it's also the blue color so where we can where we should place the number eight you see there is only one spot left here after the number seven so let's do it here great and let's take the wheels and place one two three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Amazing. So we've completed the farm animal board. So this is cow, this is rabbit, this is rooster, this one is goat, this one is sheep, this one is goose, this one is ram, this one is dog, bull, pig, donkey, and turkey. And on a wild animal board, we have leopard, monkey, lion, rhino, zebra, yak, elephant, so mama elephant and baby elephant, savanna tree, and giraffe. Great, and let's look at the number board. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, 10. Well done, we've completed all the boards. See you in the next video. And today, we gonna search for the puzzles and we're gonna solve the squirrel puzzle with the mama squirrel and with the baby squirrel and we all 
also gonna solve the puzzle with the mama elephant and baby elephant. So let's start. Add those colorful crayons here. Wow. So I think those puzzles are inside those crayons. Look at them. Hmm. So maybe let's start to open those crayons and we have the green crayon. So let's take and open it. Let's shake like this and then open. Wow, so many things we have here. Interesting. Okay, we have four puzzle pieces. One, two, three, and four. And we also have numbers and wheels. But let's start with the puzzle pieces. Let's turn around the first one. And what we have here? Here we have the elephant. The body of the elephant, the ear of the elephant, and the eye of the elephant. So let's look at this image here at the small one. And we can see that this puzzle piece is somewhere in the middle of this board. So let's maybe place like this. Then let's open the next one, what we have here. Here we have a squirrel that next to the fire. Okay, let's see where the squirrel fire. It's somewhere, I think, a bit down, right? So it's not in the middle. Great. Let's take the next puzzle, what we have here. And here we have the ear of the elephant. And I already see that we can connect them. Do you think that we can connect this one with this puzzle? Like this? Let's try. And yes, great. You're doing amazing. And let's take the next puzzle piece. And this is the corner puzzle piece. So let's turn around and see. And here we have a tree that's full of apples. Great. And can we see the tree that's full of apples here? Where the squirrel, right? Here is a tree full of apples. And here we have the tree. So it's in the left top corner like this. Great. And let's look at the numbers. So here we have the number four. Amazing. And let's place this number here, right? So, and then we have five wheels. So we need to count them. One, two, three, four, and this one, five. Great. So these five wheels are for number five. Great. Let's continue. It's really interesting. So the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one crayon. Let's shape and let's open. Wow, look how many things we have here. So we have the puzzle pieces, numbers, and the wheels. Let's start with puzzle pieces. So here we have first, second, third, and fourth. One, two, three, four. Let's turn around this one and see what we have here. And here we see that we have the tail of mama squirrel and tail of the baby squirrel. And let's look where we can place this puzzle. Let's look at the small image. Yes. And, it, and I think we should place somewhere here because it's on a side puzzle piece. We should place somewhere on the side. Let's maybe leave it like this. Great. Okay. Let's continue. So the next puzzle piece that we're gonna turn around gonna be the... Okay, it's a baby squirrel and it's a corner puzzle piece. So let's look at the small image and let's look at this. You see there is the baby squirrel in the corner. And here we also have the tail of a baby squirrel. So let's try to connect them like this. Great! Amazing, we just connected the two puzzle pieces. Great, it's marvelous. Let's continue with the next puzzle pieces. So let's turn around. Oh, here we have the leg of the elephant that's standing on the river. And it's a corner puzzle piece. So let's look at the small picture. Here is the leg and here is the river and here is the corner puzzle piece. So where it should go? It should go in a corner like this. Because it's a corner puzzle piece, it should go in a corner, right? Great. Let's open the last puzzle piece. 
for this crayon. So here we have the eyes of the baby elephant. Great. Let's take this puzzle piece and let's see where we can place it. Here we have the eyes of the baby elephant and here we have a small part of the tree. Great. Let's try to place maybe here somewhere. Okay, let's continue with the numbers. So here we have the number and it's called number five and it's a blue color. So number five goes after the number four. So we have number four and then number five. Great, and here we have five wheels, right? So let's count them together. One, two, three, four, and five. So those, these wheels represent the number five. Okay, let's gather them together. Okay, like this, amazing. Okay, let's take the next. The next one we have is number eight, and it's also blue color. So number eight, I think it should go somewhere here, right? So we still need to find number six and number seven. Okay, let's count the wheels together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have here nine wheels. Can we look at the numbers? And do we have the number nine here? No, we don't have it. We still need to find this number. Okay, let's place these wheels like, like this. And let's open the new crayon. Okay, so let's open the crayon that is orange crayon. Okay. Wow, so many things here that we need to go through. So we have again a lot of puzzle pieces and we have number and wheels. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. So let's turn around them. We have one, two, three and four puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's try to turn around this one. Okay, here we have the eyes of the mama squirrel. And let's look at the image where we have the eyes of the mama squirrel. Yes, on the top. So we can connect those two puzzle pieces like this. So we connected three puzzle pieces so we can see the mama squirrel face. Great. And let's take the next one, what we have here. Oh, again, it's a body of this mama squirrel and the tail of mama squirrel. And when, where we can place, let's look. Can we look at the image? Can you see where we can place this? Yes. Right, you're really right because we can place it right here. Great. And let's continue with the next ones. And next ones, let's turn around. And here we have again the legs of the elephant. And here is a bit of the rock. So let's look at the small image. Where is the legs? And where is the rock? You see, it's at the bottom. So let's take our puzzle piece and move down at the bottom. Like this. And let's connect them together. So we're gonna connect the body of the elephant and the legs of the elephant. Okay, let's do it. And yes, nice. And then maybe let's try to connect those two, right? Together like this. And then move to the left side. Great. And let's turn around this one. What we have here? Oh, we have here the head of the elephant and a part of the eye, you see? So we can place this somewhere on the top right because there is also the cloud here right like this ray and let's look at our number so what number we have here is number seven so let's take number seven and place before the eight so we're gonna count four five here should be six right then after six goes seven and eight nice well done so let's look at those wheels. How many wheels we have here? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have here eight wheels. And where do you think we should place them? Let's look, we have eight. So it represents the number eight. So those wheels here, we're gonna place them like this because we have them eight. Great, amazing. And let's put them like this. And then also, let's put the number five wheels 
like this, right? So there is five wheels. Great, we found four numbers. So we have four, five, and we need to find six, seven, eight, right? Okay, let's continue with the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open, gonna be the yellow crayon. Let's look at this and shake it. Wow, so many things here. So we have again puzzles, numbers and wheels. And let's start with the puzzle pieces. So we have three puzzle pieces, one, two, and three. Let's open this one. Okay, so this is the corner puzzle piece. And again, this is the tail of the squirrel, right? And where we should place this tail? Let's think together. We should place somewhere on this puzzle board, right? Here is the tail. Here is the tail of the squirrel and it's a corner puzzle piece. And there is the tree so we can place it like this. Great! We are completing this puzzle so quickly. Let's open this one and what we have here, mama elephant and baby elephant, right? So we need to place this puzzle piece here. Let's do and see. I think it's gonna connect like this, right? So we have the ba baby elephant and mama elephant. Great, well done. And the last puzzle piece in this crayon is, again, it's a squirrel that's sitting next to the fire. Okay, let's take it. And I think it should be somewhere at the bottom because you can see that the fire is at the bottom. So let's take and push it down and then try to connect them like this. Okay, because the squirrel is cold and she needs this fire. Great, let's continue with the numbers. So the next number that we're gonna look at is gonna be number three. Amazing, and let's look where we can place this. So number three goes right after the number four. No, because right after the number four, we have number five. So the number three goes before number four, here, great. And let's take the wheels. So we have here three wheels. One, two, and three. And it's a yellow color wheels. Okay, let's take them. And let's place beneath the number three, like this. Great. And let's look at number four, right? There is, because there is a four wheels and let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Great, and let's take those wheels and let's move them to the number four, like this. And let's try to combine them, right? Put them on top of each other. Great, well done. And let's also, we have here, we need to fix those wheels. We need to place them, right? So we have here eight wheels. Okay, we need to take it slowly, like that. Great. Amazing. So let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the brown or maybe red. Okay, let's open red. Oh, we have here numbers and wheels, right. And let's take the puzzle pieces and let's count them. One, two, and three. And let's turn around this one. What we have here? What you can see, is it a fire? Yes, it's a fire, you're right. And let's place this fire in a corner, right? So we can connect the fire, other piece with the fire, with this one. Great, we almost completed this puzzle. And let's continue with other puzzle pieces. What we have here, let's turn. And here we have the tail of the mama elephant and small flowers. So let's look at the picture here and we can see that there is the flower and the tail. Okay, let's connect like this. Great, well done. And let's look at the next puzzle piece and what we have here, let's turn around and see we have here rocks, river and the leg of the mama elephant and the leg of the baby elephant. So let's stay and we can place it at the bottom like this. Great, well done. So then we should look at the numbers. What number we have here? Number one, and it's a red color. Where we should place the number one? Let's look. It should go 
right after three? No, it should be the first number. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. Okay, great. And let's move these wheels beneath the number eight. Okay, and let's look at the next number. What number we have? It's number, you know, you know it. It's number two, great. Let's move it before number one here. No, it should be after the number one. Great. We almost completed our number puzzle. So then let's take the pink wheels and let's count them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six of them. So this is for the number six, but do we have the number six right now? Can you see the number six? No, we need still to find it. Okay, let's go with the other wheel. So here we have three wheels, but I think one wheel is for number one and two wheels is for no number two. So let's take those wheels and let's place it underneath the number two. So there is two wheels, right? And let's take this wheel and place it underneath the number one. Great. The next one that we're gonna do is gonna be the brown. Let's open. Wow, we have puzzle pieces and number and wheels. Let's start with puzzle pieces. Okay, let's look at them. What we have here. Let's turn around. And oh, here we have the tree. And let's look at the image where we have the tree. We have here the tree, right? You see in the corner, the small tree. So we're gonna place and connect with the cloud like this. Great, amazing. So then let's take the next puzzle piece and let's turn. What we have here, let's look. We have baby squirrel and mama squirrel. Okay, let's take, and we have also small flowers. Let's take this puzzle piece and let's put it at the bottom like this. Great. Let's take the next puzzle piece and turn around and see what we have here. Wow. Here we can see that this is the ear and the tail of the mama squirrel. Okay, let's take it and let's see where we can place it. I think it should be at the top. If you look at the small image picture, you can see that it goes like this. Great. Amazing. Congratulations. Well done. So then let's move to the number. And what number it is? It's number 10. Great. Let's place it here. So we have number eight and then it goes number nine and get, then it goes number 10. Great. And let's count the wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We have 10 wheels. So let's gather them together and place on top of each other, right? And then move to the number 10, right? Like this. Okay, we're almost done. Let's do it really patiently. Great. And let's continue with the last crayon that we have. It's pink crayon, right? Let's open. And we have here the numbers, the wheels and the puzzle pieces. Okay. Let's start with the puzzle pieces. We have three puzzle pieces, one, two, and three. Okay, let's take them and let's see. So let's turn around this one, what we have here. Oh, we have here the pink flowers and white flowers. And let's see where we can place this. And I think it should be here because this is the last piece for the squirrel. And we're gonna complete this puzzle. Great, amazing, well done. Let's take the next one. What we have here, let's turn around. And here we have baby elephant and flowers. And let's look where we have the baby elephant, right? And here we have, it's a corner piece and it's a baby elephant. Let's move and press like this. Yes, we almost completed the elephant puzzle. And the last piece, it's gonna be, it's a ear of the elephant and the flowers. And let's look where we can place it. And it's a last space, empty space, where we can put this puzzle piece like this. 
great, amazing. And then let's take the numbers. So what number we have here? We have six and nine, right? So this is six and this is nine. So let's take the number six and place right after number five, right? Great, okay. And then let's take the number nine and place it right after the number eight. Great, we've completed all the numbers. So let's count the wheels. How many wheels we have here, right? So here we have six wheels and I already see that we have six wheels. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna take this and place underneath the number six, like this. Great. Okay, let's take the... So how many wheels we have here? Let's count. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have here nine wheels. And let's try to place them on top of each other. And it's really sometimes hard to place them on top of each other. So we need to be really patient, right? So one by one, we are doing this and we try to focus on it, right? Like this, we almost build that pyramid of wheels. Great, amazing, well done. We've completed two puzzles. We completed the squirrel puzzle with where is the mama squirrel and baby squirrel sitting next to the fire camp. And there we have the tree with the apples and we have the flowers, we have grass, we have sky. Amazing, wow, so, so interesting to was to try to find those puzzle pieces for this puzzle game. So great. And let's continue with the elephant. And here we have a mama elephant, baby elephant. And mama elephant is washing the baby elephant with the shower. Great from your nose. <laughs> and then we have the cloud, we have tree, we have river, we have rocks, we have again flowers. Great, we've completed those two puzzles really quickly. You're doing great. And then let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, you know, 10. Congratulations, we've completed all the puzzles and we've completed the numbers game. And today we're gonna have the hippo puzzle, great. And we're gonna learn about the hippo itself. And we're also gonna learn about the coconut tree and the cloud and the flowers and the river. So let's start. Okay, let's start. Let's look at our image. And we have here the pink hippo, great. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to go through all the puzzle pieces here and we need to rotate them like this and we need to find the pink color, right? Or some part of the hippo. Okay, let's do. And the first one we're gonna take, hmm, let's see if we have here the hippo. Right, let's rotate and see. If there is no hippo, then we're gonna put this aside like this. Then the next one. Let's rotate. Is there, can you see the pink hippo? Maybe the pink color or something. Let's rotate slowly like this. Yes, here's the pink color, great. Let's place it on our board like this. And then the next one. The next one, let's take and rotate slowly. Can you see the hippo? Can you see the hippo? Can you see the hippo? Yes, it's here somewhere. Yes, here's our hippo. Great. And then the next one. So what we have here? Hmm, it might be the another hippo piece. But let's rotate and see. There is another piece, right? Hmm, I cannot see. Can you see there is another piece of the hippo? Maybe the pink color? No. Okay, let's leave it aside. Let's take the next one and rotate. Can you see the hippo? Can you see the hippo? Hmm. We're gonna rotate this side. Can you see the pink color? Yes, here's the pink color. 
Okay, great. Let's place it here. And let's try to find the next. So we need to find the heat ball. Can you see the heat ball? Hmm. This seems to me like a thief of the heat ball. Let's take this to our puzzle board. Like this. And then the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is heat ball piece. Hmm. Is this a heat ball? Where's the heat ball? Pink color. Look. Look closely. Yes, this is the heat wall. Nice job. Let's take this puzzle piece and place it on our board. And then the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is the heat wall. Can you see the heat wall? Hmm, it's a ears, but it's a koala. It's not a heat wall. We need a heat wall. Hmm, does this seem to be the heat wall? This seems to be the lack of the heat wall. Okay, let's take to our puzzle board. And then the next one. Let's look. Is this a hippo? No, is this a hippo? Is this a hippo? Let's look again. Pink color. Let's look at our image. Hmm, seems to be that this is the hippo part. Let's take to our puzzle board, like this. Great, and then the next one. Let's take and see if there is the hippo. Let's rotate and if there is the hippo. Hmm. Let's look. I don't think, but let's look again. Hippo? No, there is no hippo. Okay, let's put it aside. And then the next one. Let's look. If there is the hippo. No, let's look again. Oh, this might be the hippo. This is the lack of the hippo. Great. Let's put it aside, like this. And then the next one. If there is the hippo. Great, okay. Can we see if there is the hippo? Hmm, is this the hippo, Lex? Let's look at our image again. Yes, this is the stones of the hippo, right? Great, let's take them. And then let's look at the next one. Let's rotate. So we're gonna rotate first. And see if there is the hippo. Uh, let's look. And if there is the hippo. Oh, I don't see any hippo here. Okay, so let's put it aside. So this one we're gonna rotate them later for our puzzle. So let's rotate this one. And see if there is the hippo pink color. Can you see the hippo? Can you see the hippo? Yes, here is the hippo. Great. And we only left with two ones. Let's rotate one by one. Can you see the pink? We need the pink color. Is this a part of the hippo? Let's look. Yes, this is the ear of the hippo. Great. So we can place it on our board. Then the next one. Let's rotate. We need the belly of the hippo. Belly. Is this a belly of the hippo? Let's look again. Yes, this is the belly of the hippo. Great. Let's take this one and let's play. So right now we have every part on this board. We have the pink color, right? So we need to connect them together like this. So we already connected two puzzle pieces, the mouth of the hippo. Great. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this step by step. So first, we already found, right? So we connected this together. Let's look at our guiding image and see. So here is the mouth of the hippo, right? That's what we need. Okay, let's place it in the middle. Then the next one, what we need gonna be the nostrils of the hippo. Let's look again. Here is the nostrils and here is the nostril. Where we need to place them. Exactly. We need to place them at the top, like this. Great, congratulations. And then the next one, gonna be the thief of the hippo. Let's look. Here is our puzzle piece of the thief. And here is the thief of the hippo. Let's take this and place it below here, like that. Great, you're doing so well. And then the next one gonna be the ear of the hippo. 
Okay, let's move it here aside like this. And then let's try to find the ear. Can you see the ear of the hippo? Is this seems to you like an ear? This one here? Yes, correct. Let's take this one and place it like this. You see, I'm connecting them together and the image of the ear, right? Great. So the next one, what we need to look for, gonna be the belly of the hippo, the belly, you see, the belly. So let's take and try to place it here underneath, like that. Okay, great. And then the next one, we have the part of the mouth, right? So let's take this and place it between. And we already completed our puzzle, but we still need to find other puzzle pieces, right? So let's work on the hippo legs, right? So we have three puzzle pieces that contains the hippo stomps, right? Here, the small ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one by one and we're gonna place to each of these. So let's try here. Does this work together well? No, let's move it to the side. And yes, correct, amazing. And then let's take another one. This one maybe, right? And let's try it here. Does it work well? No. Okay, let's move it aside, maybe here. And then another one and let's connect them together. Amazing, congratulations. So we need to find these parts. Let's look at our guiding image. What we need to find is the tail of the hippo, right? So here is the tail of the hippo. Let's look at this image. Is this the tail of the hippo? Yes, correct. So we're gonna take this tail of the hippo and combine them together like this. Amazing. And then let's take the next one. So here we have another part of the hippo, right? So we're gonna take and can you see there is the empty space? Let's put this here and great, well done. So we almost completed this puzzle and let's look at our puzzle pieces that we are left with. So what we need to find, if we look at this image, here we have a river, right? And a dirt. So we need to find the river here, right? If we look at the hippo puzzle, here is the river. The missing puzzle is the river. Let's rotate and try to find the river, right? Let's rotate this one. Can we see the river? Yes, here is the river, correct. Well done. So let's try to combine and great, amazing. And then the next one that we need to find gonna be the another ear. If you look again at the image, you can see that there is the ear on other side. So it's really small, but let's try to find it. Let's rotate this. And yes, here is the cloud. And you see there's the small ear of the hippo. Let's take and let's try to connect like this. Let's push it and great, amazing, well done. So the next one gonna be the, hmm, what we need to find for our puzzle piece. So when we don't know, we look at the image. And here we have the tree and the cloud. So let's start with the tree. So here's the tree and here are the coconuts. Okay, so this one puzzle piece would definitely go to our puzzle board. So let's take this and Yes, great. So only one puzzle piece left. We need to find the cloud and we need to find the part of the cloud. So let's rotate slowly and yes, here's the part of the cloud and here is the coconut tree. Let's take this together. And here you see we have only one space left. And great, amazing. We've completed our hippo puzzle. So we found all pieces and we also had the hippo image that were helping us. So we found the ear of the hippo, the eye of the hippo, the teeth of the hippo, the mouth of the hippo, the belly of the hippo, the legs, you see the small stomps of the hippo and the tail of the hippo. And the other things that we found were river, river here with the dirt. And then we found the coconut tree and the cloud. Amazing, congratulations, well done.
See you in the next video. And today we're gonna learn about the animals. Look how many animals we have here. We have giraffe, we have bear that's holding the bee, we have elephant, we have crocodile, we have horse, we have monkey, and we have rhino. And we also have the hedgehog puzzle that we're gonna solve. Let's start. Okay, so let's start with finding the hedgehog. And we have the Mr. Pig who gonna help us. Okay, so let's take this cube and rotate and see if there is the hedgehog or maybe the part of the hedgehog. And if we can't find Mr. Pig, is always gonna help us. Okay. Hmm. Does it seem to you that this is the part of the hedgehog? Yes, Mr. Pig saying. Okay, we found our first piece. Let's go with the second one. And let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Or maybe the part of the hedgehog. If you see, then please let me know great let's try to find hmm, where it could be and hmm, is this a part of the hedgehog mr pig yes we found another puzzle piece we already found two of them let's continue with the next one so the next one gonna be this one okay and let's try to find and rotate can you see the hedgehog let me know if you see the hedgehog let's rotate this way and if you see the hedgehog then tell me please here we have the hedgehog great we found another puzzle piece amazing okay let's take this one and rotate we always should start by rotating the cube and see the, all the images before we decide to take it. Is this a hedgehog? Yes, it's a hedgehog, great. Let's take this and another one we have here. Okay, where is the hedgehog? We need a violet color, right? Where is the hedgehog? Oh, here is the hedgehog, great. Another puzzle piece. And let's take this one and rotate. And where is the hedgehog? The hedgehog also is holding the apple. So where it could be? Hmm, Mr. Pig, is this a hedgehog? Yes, this is the part of the hedgehog. So here is the apple and the part of the hedgehog, great. So the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is the apples. We need to find the apples. Where they could be. Hmm. This is the apples, but they are small. We need a big one. Yes, this is the big one's apples. Great. Let's take, because this is the part of the hedgehog puzzle. We only left with two puzzle pieces. So, what we have here? We need the hedgehog, the body of the hedgehog. Right, where is the hedgehog? Can you tell me? And yes, here it is, great. Is this a hedgehog, Mr. Pig? Yes, great. So the next one and the last one. We need a hedgehog with apples. Where is the hedgehog? Let me know where it is. And here is the apples and the hedgehog, great. Let's take this. We found all the puzzle pieces for our puzzle. Okay, let's start to combine them. And here is the face of the hedgehog and the apple. So the next one gonna be hmm, where we should start. It's gonna be this one, the ear of the hedgehog and the hair. Great, and here is the apple. Great, let's take our apples here and combine. We're doing really good. And slowly, always, let's do it slowly. Like this. And great, it's coming out really good. So here's another puzzle piece. Here is the face of the hedgehog. Great. And 
Here is another hedgehog part. And the last one. Let's try it. And yes, we've completed the hedgehog puzzle. Great. Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So the next puzzle that we have was the animal puzzle. Great. So let's do it. So let's pick this one. So who is that? It's a crocodile. Okay, and where is the crocodile? Can you see the crocodile here? Where is the crocodile? Right, it is here. Great. We found our first animal. And next one, let's maybe try this one. And who is that? That's holding the bee, right? It's a happy bee bear. Great. Let's take our bear and place it to this shape. Great. So we need to find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Let's open this one. Is this an elephant? No, this is giraffe. Okay. Is this an elephant? No, this is the horse. Okay, is this an elephant? Let's rotate. Yes, this is the elephant. Great, let's place it here. We found our third animal. So let's try to find giraffe. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a monkey, the happy monkey. Okay, where is the giraffe? Is this a giraffe? No, it's a horse. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a rhino. Okay, maybe this one is a giraffe. Let's turn around and who is that? It's a giraffe, great. Giraffe is going this place and great. You're doing amazing. So we've got the next one gonna be the horse. Let's try to pick our shapes. So, is this a horse? No, it's a rhino. Is this a horse? No, it's a monkey. Okay, so we have this one puzzle piece. Let's open on one, two, and three. Who is that? It's a horse. Great, the horse coming here. Well done, correct. So let's try to find the monkey. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. With this one and this one. So it's a left and right. Which one should we pick? Okay, let's do the right one and turn around. And who is that with the tail? Who is this? Remember? This is right. This is the rhino. Okay. And who is this? Yes, this is the monkey, the animal of the jungle. And where the monkey is going? Yes, the monkey is going to its place, like this. Great. So the next one is the rhino. Well done, we found the rhino. And where the rhino gonna go? Let's see, rhino is trying to find his place. And yes, we've completed the animal puzzle. So we found the giraffe. You see the yellow with orange giraffe. Then we found the bear with the bee holding the bee. Great. The next one is the elephant. The gray color, right? With the big ears. And this one is horse. Let's say it together horse great and after the horse we have who is that you know the name it's monkey well done correct so monkey have a really long tail amazing and the last one you can see this animal in the zoo who is that you know the name let's say it together one two three Rhino, great, congratulations. We've completed the animal puzzle and we also completed the hedgehog puzzle. Well done, 
we've completed two puzzles. You're doing amazing. See you in the next video. Oh, where did the alphabet go? And where the puzzles go? We need to find them. And we have beautiful crayons. So let's start and let's pick our first crayon. And the first crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the yellow crayon. So let's shake and open. Wow, so many things we have here. So let's try to find the alphabet letters. Okay, we have three letters and we also have pieces for the puzzle. But let's start with the letters. So here we have letter D. And let's do it. A, B, C, D. And it's a green color. And here we have letter F. And let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. Great, well done. And it's a blue color letter. And here we have letter called, and you know it, it's letter E. And let's go A, B, C, D, and E. Great, we found three letters. And then let's continue with the puzzle. So what we have here, I think it's a spaceship. Okay, let's check, take the body of the spaceship and let's try to place like that at the moment. And let's see, maybe we should turn around and then turn around again like this. Hmm, seems to be all right. And then the next thing that we're gonna take, gonna be the rocket engine. Let's place here the left wing, right? Here we have the right wing, great. And let's take the, hmm, where we should place. Here's the tail. It's gonna connect with our tail, right? So let's take the tail. Here we have a fire. Great. And the last one is the front body of the spaceship. And great. We've completed this puzzle really quick. Well done. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the pink one. And okay, here we have only letters. So let's learn about them. So this is letter M. M. So let's go for the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. And here we have letter N. And where we should place the letter N? N. After M. M. N. Great. And the next one we have letter O. O. So it goes right after letter N. O. So it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Great. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the green one crayon. So let's shake and okay, we have four letters here. One, two, three, and four. And let's go one by one. So this is letter D. V, v. So we need to place it on a board. And you can see here is the shape of letter V. So we can place it right here. Great. And the next one letter, we have letter X. So we need to place here, you see, X, great. And the next letter, we have letter Y. And it goes right after the letter X, right here, great. And the next one letter, we have letter W. And you can see already where we can place the letter W. It goes right after letter B, great, here. And let's go through the alphabet. So we found the letter D, E, F, M, N, O, then B, W, X, and Y. Great, we still need to find other letters for this alphabet. So let's continue and let's open the next crayon. So the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one. Great. And what we have here is letters. Oh, there is different letters and also we have a puzzle piece. So let's start with the letters. So here we have letter K. K. 
So let's think where we should place on the board. Here we have the shape of the K. So let's place right here and it's a yellow color, right? So this one letter is letter H. Let's see where we can put it. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Great. And the next one letter we have letter G and it's a violet color, the same color as letter O. So letter G goes here, right after the letter F, like this, great. And the next one letter we have, letter J. Where we should place the letter J? You see H, this one is I, and the next one, J, J, great. And the next one letter we have is letter L, and it's a green color letter. So J was orange color, K was yellow color. G was violet color and H was red color. And here we have letter L, L, L. So it's a green color and it goes right after letter K. You see J, K and L. Great, we completing one by one the alphabet. So the next one, we have the letter I and it's a red color. So the letter I, you see there's empty space for the letter I and it's the same shape. So let's place here, great. And let's go through the letters that we found. We found letter D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, V, W, X, Y, great. And let's continue with our puzzle. And what we have here, is the excavator and let's try to assemble this and let's go to our excavator puzzle right here and let's see here we can see that this is the wheels and wheels are always at the bottom so let's place like this and the next one we have a crane i think it's a crane so we can place right here right with a star and the next piece that we have is a red door Great, and we should place in the middle. So it's gonna connect the upper excavator part and the lower part. So here we have the part that would connect the door with the wheel. So we need to place like this, great. And the last one we have, it's a cabin. It's an orange color. So we need to place like this, great. We've completed the excavator puzzle, amazing. And let's continue with our crayons. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the red one. So let's shape and open. Great, we have many things here. And let's start with the alphabet. So here we have the letter Q, letter P, and letter R. So let's move to the alphabet. And can you see where is the letter P? Can you see it? It's right after the letter O. Here it is, letter P, and it's a red color. And the next one, we have letter Q. And where is letter Q? Can you see this one shape? Yes, with a small tail. Great, let's place. And the next one, right after the letter Q, we have letter R. So let's place like this. And let's go through the alphabet. So let's start what letters we found. We found letter D, letter E, letter F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, V, W, X, Y. We still need to find missing letters, but we almost completed this alphabet. Great job. And let's continue with the puzzle piece. And here we have I think it's a ship, but let's look. Yeah, it seems to be a ship. So let's move those puzzle pieces to our ship puzzle board and let's start. So hmm, let's start maybe with the body. Okay, with the front one and let's place like this. Great. And the next one we're gonna take gonna be the cabin. And maybe the cabin should be at the top, right? Like this. And the next one we have is the body that's gonna connect our wheels. Okay, and let's turn around like this. 
and yes it goes pretty well and let's take the wheels right this maybe we should turn around again one more time great and the last one part is the window we can place it yes well done amazing and we almost completed this puzzle we completed already three puzzles with a ship with the excavator and with the spaceship and we almost found all the missing letters so let's go for the crayon and the crayon that we have here is the brown one so let's open and here we have the letters we have four letters one two three and four and let's take the letter s and let's turn around and see where we can place the letter s do you see the place where we can do it yes it's here letter s yellow color and the next one letter we have letter u and it looks like a magnet okay where we should place the letter u can you see yes it should go right here right great and it's a green color letter and the next one letter we have is a letter z let's turn around and it's a orange color where we should place this letter z here great and it's ending our alphabet and the letter t t t where we should place you see s and then goes letter yes t and it's a green color great we almost completed our alphabet and we have our last crayon let's shake open great we have letters and we also have a puzzle piece airplane puzzle piece so let's start with the airplane puzzle piece and here you can see that we have a puzzle board where we can place our puzzle pieces so here we have the left wing right so we need to place like this with a star and here we have the right wing Hmm, it doesn't seem to be a right wing it seems to be a tail of the airplane so let's place like this and here we have a small right wing violet color also with a star so let's place like this great and the next one we have the i think it's a cabin again so we need to place at the top and connect with the wing great here we have a windows and a body of an airplane so let's try to connect all together and it's a really valuable piece because it connects all other pieces together great and the last one is a propeller so where we should place yes in front great like this and we completed the airplane puzzle congratulations and we also have three letters we have letter a letter b and letter c okay Let's take the letter A and where we should place the letter A. The alphabet always starts with letter, yes, A, great, and it's a red color letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter B. And after the A, which letter comes next? Yes, it's letter B and it's an orange color. And the next one letter we have is letter C. And C letter is yellow color. So it is A, B, and C. Great, we've completed the alphabet. And let's go through the alphabet one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, then Q, R, S, T, u v w x y z congratulations we completed the alphabet and we also completed our puzzle so we have the ship puzzle we have the excavator puzzle we have the spaceship puzzle that we completed and the last one puzzle that we've done was the airplane puzzle great amazing well done see you in the next video thank you kids Bye, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And today we're gonna learn about the shapes and we're also gonna solve the tiger puzzle. Look, we have a tiger, the flower, the butterfly and the hedgehog. And we also have a rainbow. So let's start. Oh, so we, right now we need to find the shapes and the puzzle pieces. 
So let's start with the puzzle first. Okay, so on the puzzle we had a tiger and the tiger was orange color. So let's find the orange color puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's turn around them and see. And we we don't have the orange color pieces, then let's put aside. So this one does not have, so let's put aside. And take another one and see if there is the tiger here. Can you see? Yes, here is the tail of the tiger. Great. Let's take another one and turn around. Here is another part of the tiger, orange one. Great. Let's take another. Okay, I see here is another part of the tiger. Okay, good job. And let's take another one and see. Yes, well done. We have the tiger. And another. Let's take another one. I think we already look at this one. So let's take next one. So the next one we have. Yes, here is the orange color of the tiger. Look, and there is another. Here is another part of the tiger. Great. Let's take this one and see. I think it's the face of the tiger. Can you see the smiley face? Yay. So, and then the next one. Let's see. Start. Okay, here is the butterfly. But what we see here is the part of the tiger, the leg. Great. Let's take another. I think it's the ear of the tiger. Okay. And here is another one. Okay, here is the ear and the rainbow of the tiger. Great. And let's look at this one. What we have here. Oh, it's a face of the tiger. Okay. And then another one. It's a leg of the tiger and the hedgehog. Okay, so what we've done now, we found all the puzzle pieces that we need to combine. And we also left with two other puzzle pieces that we are gonna place at the end, right? So, oh, wait, we have here the part of the tiger actually, great. So I think we only left with one puzzle piece where we kind of don't know if there is the orange color of the tiger, but still this puzzle piece belongs to this puzzle. Anyways, let's start with this puzzle piece. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine the face like this. Okay, great, we have the tiger face. And then we're gonna place it in the middle of the puzzle, like this. And then we have this puzzle piece where we have the ear of the tiger with the stripes. Okay, let's place it, great. And then let's take another. Here is another ear, the right one ear and the stripes of the tiger. So we can place it right here, great. And then let's work on the body, right? So let's work on the body and see how we can connect them. So here we have the tail. So let's place the tail maybe here. And then another part of the tiger, the bottom part, I think, or it could be the top part, we don't know. So if we're gonna move this here and have it like this, as it seems to be right, okay? So then let's take this one, where is the leg, the part of the leg and place it here. And I think this one would belong also here. So we have the hedgehog and what we need to do is that here is the part of the hedgehog and here is the hedgehog. So it's easy to combine like this. So we need to find the body part of this one. And it might be the part where there is a lot of black stripes. So let's try. And yes, well done. So let's then take other part with the tree. And I think it's the back of the tiger, right? Let's place it like this, great. And then we have the leg. Right, so maybe let's try to place it. Maybe we need to change like this, but then the hedgehog is not gonna be seen, right? So we need to leave it and maybe place it this one right here. So yeah, it seems to be working well because here we combine the butterfly. And then we have other part of the tiger. And here we have the small part of the flower, the red one. So place it like this, great. And here we have other part of the tiger, the leg and the flower. And there is a small part of the white flower. So let's place it like this. Well done. 
And then what we need to do, we need to center this puzzle like this. Great. And then let's take the rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? Right. And where we can place the rainbow? Yes, we can place it right here. Amazing. And we only left with last puzzle piece. And what we need to do, I think we need to rotate and try to place. But you can see it's a different puzzle piece. So what we need at the moment is to rotate and see where is the other part of the rainbow. Okay. It seems to me that this is the other part of the rainbow that goes through trees. So let's try and well done. Amazing. We completed the tiger puzzle. So we have the tiger, the rainbow, the mountains, the trees, flowers, the hedgehog and the butterfly. Amazing. So let's continue with the shapes. So we're gonna do same with the shapes. We're gonna try to find the shapes and stack them. So here is the pole, right? And we need to find one hole here, this one. So you see orange shape and it has one hole. So this one has one hole and this one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place like this, right? And then let's pick others and count. So this one was one, two, three, and last one, four. Great, we found all orange shapes. So what we need to look right now for is for two holes. So the shape should have two holes. How many holes this shape has? It has one, two, three, four, and five, but we need two holes. So if you look at this yellow shape, it has one, two, great. Let's take this shape and let's place it where we have two holes. Here we have one, two, three. And here we have one and two. And here we have one and two. So let's do it together. Great, let's take the next one and place it. And yes, well done. And then another one gonna be this one. So let's take it. Amazing. And then the next one. Yes. So let's count them together. So it is one, two, three, and four. Great. So the next one, what we need to find is three holes. So can you see the three holes? Does the shape has three holes? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. Four. It has four holes, but we need three. Does the shape has three holes? One, two, and three. Great. Well done. So we're gonna take this and place it here. One, two, three, and four. And it's a green color shape. Great. So the next one we need to find is four holes. One, two, three, and four. Is this shape has four holes? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. No, we need four. Is this one has four holes? One, two, three, four. Great. And where we need to place this? Here. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. And which color is this? Yes, it's a blue color. Great. So last one, what we need to find is five holes. And we only left with four shapes here. And they all are similar. So they all are red shapes and they all of them has five holes. So one, two, three, four, five. Amazing. So let's then take them and place it on a board. And let's count together. One, two, three, and the last one, four, amazing. So we've completed the shapes and the puzzle. And here we have the orange shape and it has one hole. Here we have yellow shape and it has two holes, one, two. Here we have green shape and it has three holes, one, two, three. And here we have blue shape 
and it has four holes one two three four and the last one has how many holes yes you're right five holes so we need to count them one two three four and five well done we've completed the tiger puzzle and the shape puzzle see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe